Giant shipping containers help bring us our food, but have you ever thought about going to one for a meal? One local businessman has a unique idea for a new restaurant that he's planning to build. He's planning to use old shipping containers to build much of the structure. The concept's worked before. News 4's Nalina Shapiro joins us with more. Nalina. Well, Diana, if Buffalo developer Rocco Termini gets his way this summer, you will be able to take your date to eat a gourmet hot dog and drink some beer inside of a steel shipping container. Concept is becoming more and more popular across the country. There's nothing like it right now in Buffalo. For the most part, it'll be all shipping containers. They'll Developer Rocco Termini wants to reuse steel shipping containers like these to build a gourmet hot dog restaurant like this in this small empty lot on 128 Genesee Street near the corner of Oak. There are thousands, literally thousands of shipping containers that are not being used because it costs more to ship them back to China than what they're worth. Termini says this won't be your father's hot dog place. He wants to attract more 20, 30, and 40-year-olds downtown. There will be unique eats like a lobster hot dog along with beer and wine. It will be open for lunch and dinner. So it'll have a garage door that opens, so it'll all be exposed in the summertime. For Termini, timing is everything. If approved, he wants his new restaurant here open before Catholic Health opens their new headquarters sometime this summer. Termini expects the planning board to approve the idea tomorrow and the restaurant to be built in 90 days. We're kind of shooting and insulation. Ron Cope owns Room for Rent in town of Wanda and knows a lot about reusing shipping containers. He isn't working with Termini, but he is part of the National Portable Storage Association and says more companies and individuals are reusing the long-lasting durable containers. A Starbucks in Chicago is made from shipping containers, and a couple in Brooklyn made them into their home. There's also uh, companies in California building housing out of them, and what they'll stack them, and then they'll put staircases going up to the second floor, put them side by side with door passages going between them. And there's nothing more green than using something that nobody else has a use for. Now they cost between two and four thousand dollars. The restaurant's name hasn't been released to the public just yet, but I think it will create a little buzz when it is. Termini already owns this lot and the planning board, if they give him the green light tomorrow, you could see construction begin just in a few weeks. Reporting live, Melina Shapiro, News 4 at 530.